If you thought I was playing, God damn it, I'm not. I am so nervous. I wish I had somebody here with me. So. I did it. and I create insane content for your enjoyment. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, that part. So, uh, <laughs> hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, y'all, like, <laughs> your girl is in San Diego right now. You feel me? Because guess what I'm getting then? My chin, my chin lipo. I'm getting my chin lipo. I'm getting all that shit going. I know my wig is messed up, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it on for the procedure or take it off. I had my do-rag on for like two days, so that's why I look this way. My room is so pretty. Let me show y'all the room tour. I got here at 12 o'clock and then I got my rental. I got a Range Rover Velar as a rental because I'm gonna be driving to Tijuana and I heard the border times, like the, to go through the border is two hours and stuff like that. I just wanted to make sure I was riding nice, just like my room is nice and I'm comfortable or whatever. So this is a solo trip. I'm only here for three days. I literally flew in Monday night. No, I flew in Sunday night, getting a procedure done tomorrow. Then I'll be here just in my hotel recovering, resting. And I'm catching a flight early in the morning Tuesday. So it's literally come get this shit done and take your ass back home. So <laughs> I'm so excited. Y'all just don't know how excited I am. Like, oh my God. Like, I'm just so happy. I can't wait to see my results, even though, you know, it's going to be like, uh, three months they said that's when you really go see your results but I, I'm just going to be happy knowing that I got it done and the price is very affordable this place charged $600 but they called me and told me that they were having some electrical issues at their location so they're going to do the procedure at another location so they said for that inconvenience they're going to take off $100 off the price so now it is $500 which was the original price because when I found the video and I watched the girl video she was like her shit was $500 they said I could eat breakfast so I'm gonna find me a breakfast spot. I got my five highs, y'all. Your girl, listen, listen. If you thought I was playing, god damn it, I'm not. So I got two five highs, bro. I got a small, and then I got the medium. I think the medium is what I'm gonna be wearing, but this shit, I'm not even gonna lie, it feels uncomfortable. This one feels much better on my skin. Um, after I get the procedure done, I'm going to just ask the doctor which one should I wear, which one would be best. This one is very, very snug and tight. And I don't know. I ain't taking this shit up. I don't think I'm taking this out. I think I'm going to just go ahead and get my do-rag and just wrap my hair back up. Good morning. Listen, that shit that happened to Young Dolph is so sad. Like... Oh my God, like, I have a lot of Young Dolph songs in my playlist, and I was literally listening to him in the shower. I want to go get a facial and do my hair at my homegirl house and shit. And then somebody told me, oh, he passed away. I was like, what? Rest in peace to Young Dolph. I really fuck with his music. I can only imagine how Key Glock and his other artists feel. Like, that's crazy. His wife, his kids, like, it's, it's just so crazy. Text your valet ticket number. Okay. <laughs> Okay then, okay then, y'all see that way, y'all see that, Hey, The whip is on the way. So the front desk person told me a glass door breakfast spot. Let me Google them. So since that place is closed, I'm going to Brian's 24. Let me see how far that is. I wanna eat first. Because they said that I can't eat uh, four hours before and my surgery is at four. What I don't like so far about San Diego is the parking like, I literally had to valet my car at the hotel and pay $50 per night. It's three minutes away from me. Everything is close by to me. The food looks very good. Online, we're gonna see if it's hitting. I want some good French toast with some orange juice. I can't have no liquor and no mimosa. I don't even like mimosas.
I don't know how to do this part. Put some respect on my name. You already know what it is. Put some respect on my name. 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 Okay then, what they serving over there? Chick chinka chikaron, chicka chikaron. Okay then, Tijuana, what's good? What's good, Tijuana? Drug discantes. They selling drugs. <laughs> Yo, where am I going? Am I turning left? Turn up left. Okay, I see red. Okay, what that is over here. So I made it across the border. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yes, I turn over here. Man, this shit look like Lil Havana, bro. Like, dead ass. It look like Lil Havana to me. Okay, I'm here early. I'm here early. I'm here 30 minutes early. I just gotta see where to park and stuff. Man, this shit looks sketchy as hell. Just like that girl said. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, this say e-taxi. So I'm gonna call them and ask them where to park at. Uh, please don't be usually parked in the street. Like, right next to a house or something like that. But my concern is, I don't know what are you exactly. I'm at a e you. the Easy Park garage. Oh, Easy Park. Okay, so no, I recommend you to go straight to the to the clinic, and you can park your car like close to there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Right now, uh. If you're gonna see like a lot of people camping, those people are immigrants that come from Honduras, Ecuador, Guatemala. I see they are trying to cross the border and unfortunately they are uh, camping outside. So it looks kind of weird. Y'all, this is so sad. There are families out here with their kids and they're trying to cross the border to get into the US. They're camping out here. Like, this is so sad. Oh, my God. Like, you never really know how good you got it until, like, you leave out your city. Like, for real, for real. That's a family. And then look over there. You see where all those tents at? Those are people out there with their kids, families. Look at the Mexico police. They're trying to cross the U.S. border. Oh, my God. Yeah, I am so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm here by myself. I have to walk to. I'm not gonna take my camera. I'm gonna leave my camera. I'm gonna put it in the trunk. I don't want no smoke with nobody. So this, you're taking out this? Yes, we cannot change the skin, okay? You're taking this out? <laughs> the skin we cannot change, only, the skin? only remove the fat, okay? Okay. But the skin, we cannot change it. So okay? what's going to happen to the skin? Is it just going to sag or what? If, like? if all is fat, we remove all the fat. Mm -hmm. If the skin is tight, um, tight. the skin, we cannot get um, tiny, okay? We cannot... Uh, change the skin, okay? Only only the fat. Uh, the procedure, the only step that you will feel something is the anesthesia. The anesthesia is um, shots from the from the corners to to the to the under sheen, okay? And the shots is the only step that you will feel something. The people feel pressure and some people feel uh, burning. For the for the anesthesia, okay. But how many times we gonna poke me? Sorry. How many times? How many shots? Three every side, okay. Three every side. Yes, three every side. And is in all the people the same the same shots? Um, some people feels uh, only pressure. Some people's burning. 
but it's the only discomfort of the procedure, okay? And during the lipo, you won't feel any pain, okay? In the lipo, it's like a massage. The lipo, no pain, okay? And the people get surprised because it's very easy, the procedure, okay? Um, only the anesthesia is the only discomfort, but the lipo is very easy, not, not in pain. Um, in the recovery, you need to take the medicines, Okay, you need to um, use the bandage. You, you have the, the faca, the compression. But you need to, to use one week the bandage and over the bandage the faca. Okay, so you're gonna give me the bandage? Yes, okay. uh, you need to use one week also to sleep, and only for the shower you may um, take it off. But after shower, put it back. Okay. So the bandage I wear for one week. Yes. Uh -huh. Both then, for one week. Oh, I'm but this. Back. Okay. Uh huh. Bandage and faca one week. And uh, all this is in, in the paper. You need to to read to read the, the paper with the indications. Okay. And you need to use the the massage. Mm -hmm. The ultrasound massage mm -hmm. is in five days. Mm -hmm. You you may. Performance the massage in any spa. The massage called ultrasound massage. Okay. So they're gonna take off the bandage mm -hmm. and then do the massage and put it back. Yes. Okay. And one week, no alcohol, no lift weight, and sleep face up. Uh -huh. one face week. up or sitting up? Uh, you need to sleep uh, face up. Mm -hmm. So I can lay down? Yes, lay down, but your face up. Okay. Okay, so I don't have to sleep like this. I just have to uh, sleep yes. like this. No, yes, only to sleep. No, no like this. Uh -huh. Okay. You need to sleep with your face and uh. wash up. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and that's it. It's only um, indications. The the swelling, the bruises, and last two weeks, three weeks is normal. The first month, the people. In, in all the light posts, um, are, are swelling, are bruises, redness, um, a little um, light bumps, it's normal. Mm -hmm. And the final result is in six months. It's a process natural of all the light posts. That the final result is in six months. Okay? Okay, so after the one week with the Faha, <coughs> then. I'll after one week, it's optional. It's optional. Yes. Okay. The, the important is the first week. Okay, so the faha. when you're done, you go put the bandage and the fire. Uh -huh. After the shower, put it back. Okay. I'm so nervous. I wish I had somebody here with me. It's nighttime here, it's 5.30, it's dark as hell. And I don't wanna walk out there by myself in these streets. So, they gonna bring it here, my lip is so dry. They are gonna bring the medicine here, and I'ma just pay, I guess, a little uh, extra fee. He told me it's $70, $75. I don't care, I'm not, I'd just rather do it that way. Clean clinomycin, I know I can't say the rest. He took a picture and he said my jaw is, you can see much more of my jaw, and he showed me the picture. 
and I'm happy with it. He asked me if I wanted to do buccal fat removal. I was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't trying to do too much. Like, mm -hmm. but I actually feel real good, and um, I guess I feel real good. Like, I don't feel any pain at all. The only thing that I, that hurted was um, the when he was numbing me, when he was giving the um, anesthesia. The first two ones, they didn't really hurt. It just felt like a little pinch. But it's when he went in with them big ass needles and he had to go in. That hurted a little bit more. I didn't feel any burning, tingling sensation. And then like the fat got like heavy. Like everything felt heavy down here. So, but other than that, the process, I just felt pressure when he was doing the lipo. It didn't hurt at all, like at all. And I kept my eyes closed all the time because I did not want to see nothing. I didn't see shit. I didn't see none of that shit. <laughs> but I was so nervous. Like I asked for something to squeeze and they gave me the gauze to squeeze. But yeah, just, I think this process took less than an hour and I can't wait to see my results. I can't wait to show y'all my results. Like the fat under my chin has been bothering me for years and I finally got rid of it. So I got a medium faha on. He said to put it on like this. I felt like the small fat would have been too tight. But he said to keep his bandage on for a week and to wear the faha for a week. And then after that, it's optional. They're still cute. My nails still cute. Thank you. Can you see pesos, okay? Okay, pesos. Not American dollars. No. Pesos. Let me see how much pesos I spend. How much peso I spend? 1,330 pesos. How you say in Spanish, mommy? Un mil. Mil trescientos. Mil trescientos. Treinta. Treinta. Pesos. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí. Sí. <laughs> Let me see. That's the medicine. Oh. Yeah, you go explain it. So, long story short, I ended up getting lost because the GPS stopped working. My phone was was about to die, and oh my god, I was so aggravated and shit. So I had to just pull over to a gas station and charge my phone there. And I had to buy some food because um, I gotta take these meds. I'm starting to feel like the numbness going off and I'm starting to feel some pain. I don't know how I'm gonna take these meds with this shit on my head though. So I'm about to take clindamycin. This is what the fuck it look like. Y'all see that? What it look like. I'm about to take the first clindamycin. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <coughs> mm -mm. Mm. Alright, my son done. Yo, crossing this border is hell. Like, so I guess this is, it's easy to come into TJ, but going out, going back to the US, you gotta give like your passport and your ID and all that shit and wait. Like, oh my God, I'm ready to go. So I'm at the room right now, let me show y'all. I got some bleeding going on. I'm gonna have to go home and buy another Faha because you know, I'm gonna have to go to work with this shit on my head for a week. And I think I go I go into the office on Friday. And I'm not I can't go to work with a bloody faha. So I'ma buy one um on Wednesday. Oh no, I'ma get home real late. I'ma have to buy it on Friday. Buy it on Friday before I go to work. Or I'm gonna ask them if I could just work from home because I'm in pain or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, um you see the other side, I got a little bit of bleeding. Um I'm starting to feel some pain. Um, here, just, ooh, it's sensitive. Ooh, I don't even wanna to touch it. I don't wanna to touch nothing. I'm starting to feel a little bit pain, a little bit of pain. I already took all my meds. Serious so set a reminder to take a pill every eight hours for the next seven days. Okay, added. Set a reminder to take a pill every 12 hours for the next seven days.
Okay, added. But um, I feel pretty good. It doesn't, like I'm not in any pain. I'm hungry as hell. I ordered me some Uber Eats, some pasta, chicken alfredo pasta, and some soup. So I could eat that. And then um, I have to get up in the morning at 7 a.m. to uh, go return the car and go to the airport for my flight. So um, the man told me, Dr. Castro told me that I can sit, I can sleep laying face up, but I don't know. I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to try that out. So I'm going to sleep sitting up. I have the, some pillows on the bed. Let me show y'all the pillows. Like, I'm going to set those up where they're around me, and then I'm going to sleep with this on my head. So I, I'm guessing I'm going to get blood on that too. So this is my faja that I bought. And then he um, has a wrap. He put a wrap on my head. He said that a wrap has to stay on my head for a week. Um, I could take it off when I take a shower, but I got to put it right back on when I get out the shower. And then um, he said after the week, um, I have to wear both. He said when a week passes, it's optional. I'm going to continue to wear my faja that I bought um, probably for as much as long as I can. As long as I could do it. Um, I don't feel bothered right now. It's not bothering me. It's not itchy. Um, I feel pretty fine other than I feel it a little sensitive here. Like I feel a little pain. And it's, it's just minimal. It's very bearable. It's like, it's it's not, it's the, it doesn't hurt. It's just, it's like discomfort. So yeah, it's just a little um, discomfort over here on this end. When we went into the room, he laid me on the bed. Um, he, I guess he took a marker and marked wherever, whatever he was going to do, like, I guess his working area. And then, um, he gave me, um, anesthesia. So the anesthesia, the first two shots, the one shot on this side, the one shot on the other side, they did not hurt. It, it just felt like a little pinch. It's when he went in with some more anesthesia or, and that shit hurt it like hell. I, I wouldn't say it hurt it like hell, but... The first, the second shot on each side is what hurted because it's a very long needle and it's going in, like it's going far in because, you know, he has to numb everywhere. So, and then he was like, it's liquid. He's putting liquid in there uh, for the fat. I don't know what it does to the fat, but whatever. So yeah, he put that in there. And then after that, he said we had to wait 10 minutes for, you know, it to fully kick in and we did. And then he just came in and went to work. So the actual process, um, I didn't feel shit. The only thing that I felt was the pressure, as he said. And then, you know, it's he's working next to your ear. So I, he I heard when he made the incision. I heard when he inserts, like I hear when he insert the lipo thing. And then he is, I don't know what the click was, but it was like a click, like a click, click, click. And then he starts going to work. He's just going in, going in. And you know, I felt the pressure. Especially at the incision, I felt the pressure the most. Like I felt, you know, him doing all the movement there. Here, it didn't really bother me much. It did bother me a little here. It was a little bit uncomfortable, but it didn't hurt because you know you're not used to that feeling. So, something that I found myself doing throughout the procedure was biting my tongue, like, <laughs> like that. And I'm like, hell no, I ain't doing. I need to stop that. So, um, I just ended up just you know clenching my jaw clenching my teeth because it is uncomfortable um it is uncomfortable it doesn't hurt at all it does not hurt at all and I asked him for something to squeeze he gave me a gauze to squeeze throughout the procedure because you know you know yeah something to make me feel a little bit more comfortable so other than that I would say the whole process probably took about an hour you know from the from the numbing to you know doing the actual thing um, he took a before and after picture. You, you clearly see a difference. My jaw, I, I like the, I like my results. I really do because before I hated my side profile. Now I just can't wait to take a picture. I can't wait. Like I'm gonna be so much more confident. And uh, yeah, that was the procedure. After the procedure, um, you know, while he was doing the procedure, he was asking me, "Are you okay? Let me know if you feel any pain." And you know, he made me feel comfortable. The only thing I didn't like is um, mid-procedure, uh, he had to tend to his phone a little bit. 
like he tended to his phone like i don't know if he shot a text or something i don't know what he did but he had like you know there's someone in there helping so he just had the person hold the thing while it was inside me and he shot a text or did whatever that's the only thing i like i'm like man this shit already uncomfortable like come on let's get this shit over with but other than that the process was great um very affordable only 500 us dollars and their currency was i guess it was like nine grand or something like that and yeah um would i do this shit again hell no i would never ever ever do this again i do not want to do chin lipo again because just 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 for the fact that anesthesia like i hated that shit like that shit was so uncomfortable and it hurt it and ugh, i don't want to do it again i don't want to do it again so i'm gonna take care of myself i'm gonna take care of myself because i want to keep these results and i i don't want to do any other surgeries because that anesthesia shit that shit threw me off so this is my first and probably my last surgery i don't want to do any other surgeries cosmetic surgeries because i've had sinus surgery before and yeah that's my process um i'm gonna give y'all an update because he said um i'm gonna see my actual results in like three months and he he told me i need to make sure i do one massage a week with the um ultrasound but i think i might do more i'm gonna find a place and see how that go he said i could start my massage on the fifth day i'm gonna call a couple of places and talk to them and see what's the best thing to do so um, there you have it. If you have any questions, just go feel free to comment down below. I'll answer as much as I can. Um, I'll put their info info down in the description box. This is not sponsored. This is just solely my experience, totally. Um, and yeah, the, the place was very nice. I would say it's very nice, but um, like, well, the inside, it, it was decent. It was decent, but um, the service was very good because when I got there, I called them and I was like, hey, where do I park? And they told me where to go and park and stuff. And, you know, they answered all of my questions. Like, it was, it was a good experience. I would say that my experience for this was good. So, this is how I'm going to sleep. It's cold in here, so I'm going to sleep with my jacket on. My neck pillow, I'm going to strap this. You see, I got the pillow set up on the side of me. I'm trying to eat. I don't know if I should take off the five and then eat. But when I started eating, I started feeling like a cooling sensation on both sides of my incisions. I don't know if that's liquid or blood coming out because I'm chewing, but this is how I'm eating. chicken i want to eat the chicken but it's harder for me to eat the chicken because the chicken is bigger and i can't open my mouth as wide and i just can't eat the chicken so i'm only eating the noodles yo this shit is fire it should taste so good it's five o'clock in the morning mm, so much pain i feel so sore I'm I can set a reminder to take these pills. Oh my god. It hurts. I feel sore as hell. And it hurt to swallow now.
thank you so much for tuning into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and y'all follow me on instagram so y'all can see my pictures like i'm gonna be snidget like i'm snidget like i'm so happy i don't know how happy i am i don't want to do too much moving because yeah there's more blood coming out i think it's because i'm talking too fucking much so yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and eat my food and i'm gonna get in bed because it's time to go to bed <sighs> but yeah deuces <laughs>